Hello, hello, my beautiful people. Thanks so much for stopping by my channel. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Goretti and I am the counselor at Butterfly Project. Today, I just wanted to do a quick little video on uh, a topic that is something that's kind of new to me in the last uh, couple of years. However, intuitively, I always kind of felt this, okay? So um, there is that saying, less is more, and it is is in a lot of ways, not in everything in our life, but um, definitely in this area. So I want to talk about us going back to basics. This is about simplifying our life. This is kind of like minimalism, okay? So um, as many of you know, and clients, you know, I always share my story to kind of help people through things. And I'm very vocal and open about, you know, things that I've gone through and what I've learned because I find that that really helps people. And that's what I'm trying to do on this channel for you guys. Um, but I had to downsize and move when I sold my house and I downsized from a house um, that was like 2,200 square feet with a fully finished basement um, and an oversized two car garage and a massive backyard and I just, there was so much. Um, you know, this at one point, you know, six of us uh, and then became seven living in a home. Um, there was just so much stuff and I got rid of things. Um, I left half of it, more than half for my ex-husband. I, you know, packed up a bunch of things and put it in storage. I have like, you know, boxes everywhere, things stacked up in a storage room, you know, where I am now, like just so, so much. And here's what I learned during that process. And I actually have to like go through everything again and get rid of things because the move was so quick. Um, I sold the house quickly and got out of there fast, but also, um, you know, just doing it in the middle of like the coldest, most snow winter I think we've ever had where I am. Um, and so it was really hard, you know, um, I, I did try my best to get rid of what I could, but it takes time and work and effort, you know, to get rid of things. Right. So, um, when you really think about it, you know, packing and going through items like one by one, like towards the end, I was just throwing things in boxes and like, you know, trying to, to get it all out there, out of there. But anyway, so what it taught me was the majority of the things I did keep, I don't even use and I haven't. I've been in my new place now for a year and a half. And um, wow, I can't believe it's been a year and a half. But I barely use most of the stuff. Even like clothing, I got rid of so much. I kept what I thought I needed or what was good. I find that I'm cycling through the same things, right? And so what I have noticed, um, because I was so exhausted trying to recover from the whole thing, um, and then now, you know, life has been good and peaceful, and it's been like that for a while, and I just, you know, wanted to rest, and, and who wants to go through stuff, right? But it's kind of been weighing on me, you know, and it's there every day. And this is what happens when we have stuff, when we have too much, it you know, weighs us down energetically as well. Um, excuse me, because it's always on our mind. It's always there, okay? Um, you know, you wake up in the morning, like I got stuff in my closet and I see it every day. Subconsciously, we see these things, right? And subconsciously, I know like that storage room in my basement is like full and I need to get rid of things in my garage and all this kind of stuff. So it weighs us down. And um, there's a lot of people that teach on this, but I kind of just wanted to remind everybody. And I think the pandemic kind of, you know, um, taught us this or maybe shed light on this, you know, uh, topic and issue as well. But it's important for us to, you know, energetically speaking, and you guys know I'm, I'm really into energy and stuff like that, but energetically speaking, when we have things that are old, and I don't mean old as in like they have sentimental value or there's something, um, you know, special about it. I'm talking about like, 
you know, just that item that you don't want to get rid of, you know, um, or you've had it for a long time, or maybe you paid a lot for it, or, you know, something like that. Um, broken things, right? These things weigh us down. If you haven't used this stuff, and I know it's hard for us to throw things out because we work hard for our money, right? And so we buy things and we don't want to throw it out. But at the end of the day, it is sucking your energy. This is what I have found. Um, and so going back to more of a minimalist lifestyle, if you, you know, to give an example, if you've ever, you know, kind of gone away, um, you know, rented a, a cabin or something like that, what you'll notice is that you feel so good, not just because you went away, right? Because that's obviously awesome, <laughs> but you will feel good because they have the, everything that's there is minimal right? It's like, you know, just enough of the dishes, right? Just enough, you know, uh, for however many people, four or six, right? Um, you know, it's like just enough stuff. And, um, you know, that's kind of what our life is supposed to be like when we have all these things, you know, um, for instance, like I had so much so many dishes and, and, um, you know, I loved entertaining before. And so I have all of these nice things and, you know, I handpicked so many of them and I don't want to get rid of them and I feel really bad. But the thing is that it's all jam packed in my cupboards. And that means I got to move things around when I need that one pot to make something and it takes up time and it creates frustration. That's what I mean. Kind of that energy. There's like friction there. Um, as well with that or when I see those boxes you know every day when I go into my garage I'm like the boxes are there there are stuff that I have been carrying with me from all my moves stuff from like you know 20 years ago 25 years ago it's 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 not necessary it's not needed it's in boxes the other thing is that I've had so many people near and dear to me um, that have passed or that I've heard of people, you know, kind of acquaintances or people that I knew or grew up with that have passed far beyond or before their time. Okay. And that also taught me, I mean, if, if they have stuff, if they have boxes with stuff, who's going to go through that? Who's going to see that? Like, why does it matter? Right? Um... One of my grandmothers that passed away, I took her dishes that she had in a china cabinet and she never used them. I know this is kind of not about like minimalism, but I just want to throw this in there. Um, and, you know, I took those dishes and I pull out those dishes for Thanksgiving dinner with my family, right? Like it was her good china. She never used it. Um, life's too short. I did a video on that too, but life's too short. And so, um, you know, I got a new set, like it was gifted to me, but a new set of like a cappuccino mugs and they're so beautiful. They're so earthy and like, I love them. Um, and I have, you know, tons of cappuccino sets and I'm like, well, why do I need them all? You know, typically, and especially since the pandemic, I'm not entertaining the way that I did. So do I need all these things? Do I need the clothes that's sitting there? I have clothes that I love to wear before. It was a different time. And, you know, I, I've pulled them out and it's like even even the clothes is is old, even if it was an item that was like newer, I didn't maybe wear it much, but it's like the elastic, you know, is breaking or because it gets old. So we also need fresh new energy. And that's also part of self-love too. Um, something that I'll probably do, you know, a separate video on. But I realized that, you know, especially somebody like me who's very, uh, you know, conscious of like the money that I spent and I'm a saver and I'm really good with my money. And so it's hard to get rid of these things. But what I realized is what's more important is how I feel and my energy. And the thing is, I can't, you know, do what I need to do if energetically I'm being weighed down. And people think like, it's just stuff. It's just sitting there. No, energetically, it weighs us down. Why do you think that one of the best things to do for us to feel better, to get out of depression, you know, if we're dealing with, um, you know, if we're not really feeling our best, 
uh, or we're lacking motivation maybe, what is one of the number one things that most, you know, psychologists, therapists, whatever, you know, in that community suggest? Declutter, clear your space subconsciously, even if we don't talk about energy, subconsciously, it is really affecting you, okay? Guys, sorry about my like crazy curly hair. I don't know if I said that in this video yet, but it is crazy hot um, and humid where I am and naturally curly hair, humidity, it's just not a good mix. <laughs> um, anyway, so, you know, subconsciously, we're picking up on these um, messages, right? It's weight. Think of how much all of this stuff like physically weighs. It is weighing down on you in the back of your mind and your subconscious. It's weighing down on your spirit. It's weighing down on you energetically. Um, this is why having fresh cut flowers, you know, in your home, like really brings in that energy, even though you might have plants and stuff like that. It's fresh. It's new. That new energy can really like brighten things up, lighten things up for you, right? So let's think about that, right? What what could you do and and i know like i'm one of those people it's kind of like i procrastinate 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 and then when i do something i am all in and for days i'm going through everything and i'm getting you know like i'm doing that kind of stuff um so i'm not suggesting you do that but for me it works that could be your personality however um i'm kind of one of those you know work hard play hard right like um so, you know, go through your things, maybe slowly, maybe, you know, set some limits, set some goals, right? This is the same as if it's diet or exercise, you know, set some goals, say, okay, one day a week, I'm going to take, you know, four hours, a, a chunk of time, and I'm going to do this, or maybe it's a couple times a week, I'm going to do it for two hours each time or something. I'm just, you know, it's just an idea. You guys know what your life is all about, right? So whatever works for you. But just carving out that little bit of time um, to be able to do it. And go through your items and actually ask yourself, how do I feel with this item? Do I really need it? Am I going to use it? It is, is it something that is sentimental? Because I'm a very sentimental person too, so I totally get it. You know, if you want to keep these things like things, you know, from my children, but we can we can put them away in an organized way. We can also go through things and select things and not have to keep everything right. Um, you know, I, I did these little bins for for all of my kids where I have like all these little keepsakes and like, you know, just little stuff, you know, their their first little outfit or, you know, those kinds of things. Right. Um, and the first drawing they made, like a lot of these, you know, sentimental things. And I made a box for them and that's it. And the rest I had to get rid of. And it's hard to part with these things. I know, but really, what do we need them for? There are people that are, are, are buying bigger just to store this stuff. Storage, you know, facilities. Um, I, I was good friends with, uh, one that owned, or, a gentleman that owned one and he would tell me he's like how do you think we make money like people just want to keep everything they store it but even that just knowing that every month you're paying that bill every month it's sitting there it weighs you down do you really need it or sometimes we're like well one day i might need it let's take a look at have you used these things i know people say you know for clothes it's like the last six months I say longer, you know, a year or two years maybe, okay? Have you really used it? No. I got tons of stuff. I had put on a lot of weight. I plan on losing the weight. However, do I need to keep all that? Times have changed. Of course, I have certain items that I don't want to get rid of, you know, really nice, unique pieces like dresses and different things that, you know, I, I really truly love that I don't want to get rid of. Um, okay, keep those items, but we don't need to keep it all. 
right? I still have things with tags on them. You know, sell some of these things, get some money back. You know, have like a little separate bank account where you can, you know, um, if you do sell some of these items that you put it away or you can even reward yourself um, for, you know, being able to do this and getting rid of items that you thought you might never be able to get rid of and, you know, put them in um, or, or put some money aside, you know, if, if you want to do that, right? Like that's just an idea. Um, for every time you get rid of something, you know, gift yourself, I don't know, a dollar or five dollars, ten dollars, whatever it is. And before you know it, you have money in that account. So that let's say a year from now, two years from now, five years from now, you're like, oh, I did need that item or I would have used that item. Okay, so buy another one. I know it's hard. I work hard too. I don't want to throw money away. But sometimes it's worth getting rid of that stuff and going back to basics. I grew up with two sets of grandparents and a set of great grandparents. And one thing I learned, you know, uh, I, I love talking to them and they would share their stories and stuff. And I loved like we natural, we're natural uh, or we're, sorry, guys, I'm trying to say this, but our, our natural instincts are to be minimalist. Our natural instincts are to live a simple life. Look at the happiest people in the world. They don't have a lot of stuff. They have just what they need. Some don't even have that, but just what they need. And then they are living life. They are not weighed down by all of these things. We don't need all of these things. So my grandparents and great grandparents, you know, they would share stories and they lived such a simple life and they would talk about how like, you know, they missed that simple life. And I think they lived a simple life. But, you know, in comparison to what they lived when when I knew them uh, compared to, you know, before I was even born, um, it was different. They lived so much simpler. And although it's like when you don't have much and all of a sudden you get, um, you know, let's say you grew up not very financially well off, poor maybe, middle class, not wealthy, and maybe you didn't have a lot of things. And then now, you know, you've got a great career and, you know, you have a partner who's also making, you know, uh, decent money and you're both, you know, uh, able to have more. And now you start buying more stuff because because you can, but I promise you, the novelty wears off. Over time, it's not going to feel good, okay? So my challenge for you guys is to go through your things take a look at what you have do you how do you feel with those items can you gift it to someone i did this actually as i was moving um which my family thought was such a great idea but what i did was items that were very gently used things that i could like resell i really i'm such a thoughtful person and so i really put a lot of thought into my gifts and I went through everything and I, you know, kind of was always thinking like, who would this be good for? Or um, had everybody on my mind. And as I went through my items and things that I want to keep to sell, I'm like, could this serve somebody else? You know, it's kind of like uh, that saying, you know, somebody's uh, garbage is somebody else's gold or something like that. I don't know. I'm really bad with sayings, but, um, you know, it, can that be re-gifted? to someone and I actually gave a heads up to my whole family like hey guys this is, and my friends this is what I'm doing this Christmas it's an idea I had and I had so many people say oh my god that's such a great idea we should all do that that should become a tradition um I mean you'll end up running out of things right <laughs> but um yeah, it just became it, like it was so fun to do it. And, you know, it's all about like the presentation, right? So I wrapped up these things so beautifully and I was so excited, um, you know, and everybody appreciated it. It was really great. So you could do something like that, um, you know, but go through your items. And, and I gave so many things away and it makes me feel good to give to others. And so by giving those things, I always have a belief and I have lived this time and time again whatever I give away now there's certain items that it's like no I really don't want to give that away that has a lot of value I can sell it for you know quite a bit or it's fairly you know brand new almost um I don't want to just give it away if I can't sell it I end up giving it away 
Um, but the items that I do give away, it just feels so good to give those things away. Um, and then, yeah, selling these other things and just reducing. You know your life. You know what you've been using, right? And then, yeah, okay, so you can have, you know, a closet or you can have, you know, some shelving in your storage room or your garage or something for all these other items that maybe you don't use very often, maybe just once a year, like my grandma's, you know, china set, like I was saying. That's fine. It's okay for us to have those things. But I am saying, you know, the majority of things, like do we really need all that stuff? Less is more. When you have less, you know, even even though it might not be right in front of you, like maybe your space doesn't have a lot of stuff, but you've got a lot of stuff kind of jam-packed in closets and drawers and cupboards and things, like it doesn't feel good, right? Things that you've had for a long time, it's past the expiry, get rid of it. Broken things, you know, you're like, oh, I could fix it. Get rid of it, right? Reduce limit, minimalize what you have and get back to a simple life. And I am going to do another video on this, on what that simple life then looks like. A lot of it has to do with routines, spirituality, our body, our mind, our spirit, right? What is good for our, you know, um, our inner self, right? what's good for our physical body because the other thing that I think most people have learned through the pandemic and I have definitely learned that in so many different ways is health is number one and you know when people pass they don't talk about their things they don't talk about their money they talk about that they wish they had more peace more fun more enjoyment you know, doing those things that they love to do, uh, following through with their dreams, having more love in their life. You know, that's what we truly want. So I don't only want you to go through these things. I actually want you to spend some time, maybe do a little meditation or just sit in quiet with your eyes closed, go within. You might have to do this multiple times, but really go within and ask yourself, what do I value? What is important to me? If I were to wake up tomorrow, miracle question, right? If I were to wake up tomorrow and everything was as I wanted it to be, what would it look like? So many people would say, I would love to live in like a little beach house on the beach or, you know, um, a, a little cabin in the woods, like, you know, things like that. A lot of people really want to do, um, you know, the little tiny house and things. Why? Because our, our soul, our spirits crave simplicity, right? We don't need all these things. That's all society. That is, you know, um, um, worldly, right? That's not what our inner being really wants. So how can you simplify your life? Not just in things. There are other ways to simplify your life, which I'm going to do a separate video on. Um, but what ways can you simplify your life and make it more of a minimalist lifestyle and get you back to the basics of what life is all about. How can you do that? That's what I want you to focus on. Go within and ask yourself, what does that look like for me? What do I want to have? What do I want to keep, right? I have, you know, rubber made bins of like all these like amazing, um, you know, uh, cooking, cooking ware, right? You know, pots and pans and different frying pans. I use like three or four all the time, <laughs> right? I don't need that other stuff. And what I started to realize too is this stuff can help other people, right? There's shelters out there that maybe need stuff to help people get on their feet. There, Like there's so many ways that we can give. And I promise you the universe always reimburses you you will get back what you give I think I lost my train of thought on that earlier but you will get back what you give tenfold I have experienced this in my life time after time when I give stuff away I get back tenfold regardless of how it comes maybe it's not material things it could be monetary whatever it is but helping other people 
also makes you feel good. And I promise as you guys do this and start getting rid of stuff, we're talking about physically simplifying and minimalizing and decluttering right now. But I'll, like I said, I'll do another video for, you know, the inner part of you, right? Um, there's also something to be said for like our lifestyle, like food and, and um, exercise and all that kind of stuff too, right? Spirituality, all these parts of us um, can be reduced, simplified, minimalized, getting us back to the basics, which you guys, that is what people do in these other countries especially but other places where they don't have a lot but they're so focused on what is important and they have such a simple life and they are you know they have gone back to basics or they've been in the basics right and they're so happy they're so happy so what can you do to simplify your life what can you do to reduce and live more of a minimalist lifestyle? And what can you do to get back to the basics of living and really living, not just surviving life, not just getting through life, but actually living and thriving in life. This is going to be a word I am going to be using a lot going forward in these videos, which is thriving in your life because we are not meant to just live we are meant to live extraordinary lives that's what we're here for is to enjoy this physical reality all right my loves i hope this was helpful for you guys i know it was probably a much longer video than i expected to do or wanted to do but as you guys know i love to kind of you know talk and really you know dissect things and really get you know dive deep um, to help you guys out. So let me know in the comments below what you plan on doing to simplify and minimize your life and get yourself back to basics. Um, share this video with anybody that you know. Hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already done so. Would love to have you here. Um, and yeah, do all those things. And as always, guys, I wish you all peace, love, and light. Until next time, bye-bye.